Hi folks, this is Mike here from the Trailer Depot. Today we're doing a video on an ATC 8.5 by 50, 50 foot long, uh, mobile classroom trailer. This particular trailer was designed and built as a mobile welding classroom uh, for one of our customers called Hampton Engineering, which is up in uh, East Long Meadow, Massachusetts. Uh, we'll walk inside. This particular trailer has got eight welding booths. Uh, complete with fume extraction. There's going to be welders installed by uh, our customer, but you've got eight individual welding booths uh, complete with tables, uh, welding stands. Uh, we have the gas all plumb for the uh, MIG welders that's going to come from the front. We'll show you where that is. This is a, a Lincoln fume extraction system that's adjustable and it extracts all the fumes and if any of you have ever done any welding you know that there's a lot of smoke and a lot of fumes uh, that's generated as you're doing welding so this is going to be a live welding trailer that they will need to get the fumes out so they're not choking themselves inside the trailer the fume extraction system is plumbed up into the roof and all the way ducted all the way to the front and we'll show you where that system sets up in the front as well as we get up there uh, eight individual booths with curtains so you can be standing out here. They can be welding, no uh, concerns about flash burn. The instructor can be outside without having a welding mask on. Uh, all the electrical is all conduit up top. We have an air compressor on board this trailer, so you've got air lines that are all plumbed inside the walls. Uh, the E-Track on the walls is designed, there's going to be some tables and so forth on this side, and that's how you fasten that into the trailer. Each one of these welding booths is identical, so I won't show you each one of those, but I just wanted to point that out. The welding gases are going to be stored right here. You're going to have your bottle here, going to be plumbed into the, the line that goes down and ties into each one of the individual welding booths. Um, we've got uh, 220 volt outlets in each one of the booths, as well as 110 volt outlets for grinding purposes and so on. Um, big storage area up in the front here that houses all the electrical panels on one side and the big blower for the fume extraction on the other side, the welding compressor compartments up there, as well as your spare tire. We'll walk into the outside now and just show you uh, up under the front where all the mechanical stuff is as far as the, the electrical input. So this particular trailer is pretty unique. It's got a 480 volt, three phase electrical system that comes in. So you've got four different cables that are gonna, with a, uh, um, twist lock setup in each color coded that's going to be able to tie into the electrical system at the school that this particular trailer is going to. Um, on this side you've got your battery for the 12 volt stuff. This shows you the cables. Each one is a you know a twist lock setup that's uh, color coded. There's no way to screw that up when you when you go to put it together in the trailer. Um, power converter that's going to charge the battery on that side. Uh, up in the front here we've got a, a big air compressor and then this is the fume extraction system, big electric motor. This is part of why we need the three phase uh, and the 480 volt because of the size of that motor. Uh, you see how big the duct is here compared to how small it gets down the other end. It just creates a tremendous amount of volume to get the fumes out of the trailer. Uh, very unique project for us. Uh, we enjoy working on challenges like this. Um, we, designed, we started with the customer and uh, designed the trailer basically, uh, worked up the bid and wound up getting awarded the bid. Facebook and also follow our YouTube videos. Thanks and have a good day.